Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, is my new fish. So I'll be showing you my new fish, telling you what type of fish they are, and telling you the ones that have names and what their names are. Alright, so most of my fish are over here at the moment. Um, this... Uh, come on guys that one female in the back there is a sword tail i have not named her yet apologies for the bad angle they're still a bit skittish there she is i have not named her yet but i will hopefully think of a good name soon and she is a sword tail don't i probably said that this yellow one right next to her with the mickey mouse face on its fin this is Clementine. I'm not sure if he is a he or a she yet. But that's pretty much the first fish I picked out for his name. Or one of the first fish I named. This one right here that looks like Clementine but is um, kind of silvery. Um, he is a Mickey Mouse platy just like Clementine. I have not picked up a name. I don't know a name for him. But one of the f uh, first platies I had looked pretty much exactly like him, and his name was Stormy. So I might see if I can um, find a Latin word for storm or something like that and name him that, because Stormy was one of my favorite fish. Now this black one, this black and orange one here, with the kind of long thing sticking out of his tail, this is a male sword tail. I have not named him yet. And then the final fish of the tank that I have right now is this black and orange one with the triangle, long triangle fin. Um, I have named him Isosceles, like the math triangle. Well, any of the planties could be boys or girls. I have not learned gender, how to tell genders of planties, or at least I don't remember at the moment. But that's Isosceles. And they're all doing pretty good. I did have another sword tail, but she didn't make it very long. But the rest are perfectly healthy. And usually in a bunch of fish, there's always a couple of ones that just fluke. Or not really a fluke, but just maybe look healthy in the store. But then when you bring them home, they pass away a few days later. But that is something that can happen to any fish you buy. It's bound to happen every once in a while when you buy a bunch of fish at once and do the stressful thing of moving them to a different tank. Um, so yeah, this tank has been up for about two weeks now and it's due for its first water change, I believe. So that will be happening pretty soon. So yeah, those are the fish I got. Um, there are three flatties and two sword tails. There used to be three sword tails, but one of them is the one that did not make it in time to show in the video. So that's unfortunate. But I am thinking about getting some ground eater. Or, what am I saying? Bottom feeders. Maybe like a couple Corridoras. There's a ton in the, ta in the 40 gallon tank. But I might get a couple of those. Maybe catfish, something like that. To make the bottom of the tank alive. Maybe I'll get a couple of shrimp. There's an idea. Maybe I should do that. But anyway, those are my fish. They're doing great right now. Still getting used to me. Still a little skinnish. But, you know, it's to be expected in a new tank. But they're all happy swimming back and forth. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you have any comments. Maybe any tank fish tank suggestions. Because I can probably fit a few more fish in here if I wanted. Um, I'm actually pretty satisfied with the amount that's in here right now. But I'm still... There's a possibility that I could get more fish. Um, including the bottom feeders. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!